factor and remainder theorem. If you are asked to find remainder in a polynomial or to factorize polynomials, this is what you do. Hello guys, I am Flash Isaac and today I will be taking you through factor and remainder theorem under polynomials. I have already released videos on addition, substitution, multiplication and division of polynomials. So you can check those videos out using the link below in the description. And if you are watching outside YouTube, simply go to flashlearners.com or search Flash Learners on YouTube to assess those videos. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out any of my amazing videos. Polynomials are expressions with ascending or descending powers of variable. So this polynomial is of degree 3 because the highest power is 3. We are told that this polynomial was divided by this and there was a remainder. What is that remainder? To get that, we don't need to start solving using long division method to get remainder because we can actually use that to get the remainder, solving this using long division. But it's not necessary here. What you do is simply, they say s is divided by s minus 2. So simply say s minus 2 is equals 0. If s minus 2 is 0, therefore s is equals 2. And the polynomial is s raised to the power of 3 minus 2s squared plus 5s plus 8. Simply substitute 2 anywhere you see s. That's how you do it. So instead of s, we have 2 raised to the power of 3 minus 2 2 squared plus 5 2 plus 8. So 2 raised to the power of 3 is 8 minus uh, 2 square is 4 plus 10 plus 8. So 8 minus 8 plus 10 plus 8. 8 minus 8 is simply 0. So 10 plus 8 will give you 18. So the remainder is 18. That's how you go about that. And take a look at the second one. We will still apply the same knowledge. For the second one, it says s square minus 5s plus 4. So it's divided by s minus 1. So you simply come and say, okay, let s minus 1 is equals 0. In that case, s is equals 1. So substitute 1 for s here to have 1 square minus 5, 1 plus 4 to give you 1 minus 5 plus 4 so this will give you 0 now substituting this into the equation we got 0 this implies that s minus 1 is a factor of this polynomial now look at factorize so factorizing polynomial is a bit longer than looking for remainder this polynomial is of degree 3 that means the highest power of variable is 3. So for polynomial of degree 3, you have 3 factors. For polynomial of degree 2, you have 2 factors. Let's look for the first factor. So any value you substitute here to get 0 would be your first factor. So you start from 1. Look for a function of 1. This is function of s. So look for function of 1. Anyway, you see s in this expression, put 1. If it gives you 0, then s equals 1 is a factor. If it doesn't give you 0, we proceed to 2. We substitute 2 for s. If that doesn't still give us 0, we try 3. Anyway, you see s, put 3. If it gives you 0, then that is a factor. We've gotten our first factor. So let's try 1. Putting 1 in this expression, we have 2 1 to the power of 3 plus 1 square minus 13 1 plus 6. 1 to the power of 3 is 1. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 square is 1 minus 13 plus 6. This will give you 3 minus 13 plus 6. 3 minus 13 is minus 10. Minus 10 plus 6 is 4. So 1 is not a factor because the remainder is not 0. So let's try 2. 
to see if the remainder will be zero. So putting s for two, we have two two raised to the power of three plus two square minus thirteen two plus six. This is two. Two raised to the power of three is eight plus four minus thirteen times two is twenty six plus six. Two times eight is sixteen. So sixteen plus four. Minus 26 plus 6. 16 plus 4 is 20. 20 minus 6 is minus 6. Minus 6 plus 6 is 0. So substitute 2 into the equation and give us 0. There's no remainder is 0. Therefore, 2 is a factor. So s is equals to is a factor. If s is equals to, this implies that s minus 2 is equals 0. So this is the first factor. So you keep it somewhere. S minus 2. Now that you've gotten the first factor, how do we get the other two factors? It is simply by long division. So you divide this polynomial by S minus 2 to get the other factors. S minus 2. This is the divisor. Then this is 2S cube plus s square minus 13 s plus 6 so you look for the highest power of variable here use it to divide this which i've already treated in division of polynomials so here you have s plus 3 over s which is equals 2 s square so here is 2 s square 2 s square times s will give you 2 s raised to the power of 3 2s squared times minus 2 will give you minus 4s squared. So subtracting, we have 6 minus 13s. s squared minus, minus 4s squared will give you 5s squared. 2s is power 3 minus 2s is power 3 will give you 0. So we are here. Then we divide 5s squared by this. 5s squared divided by s would give you 5s. So plus 5s. Using this to multiply these two guys. 5s times s will give you 5s squared. 5s times minus 2 would give you minus 10s. Subtracting, you will give you 6. Minus 13 minus minus 10. That's minus 13 plus 10. So we should give you 3s minus 3s. 5s squared minus 5s squared is 0. So we are left with this now. Then we use this minus 3s to divide this guy again. Minus 3s divided by s would give you minus 3. So minus 3 times s is minus 3s. Minus 3 times minus 2 would give you plus 6. So 6 minus 6 is 0, this minus this is 0. So you look at it, so the remainder is still 0. So that is our quotient. Quotient and remainder. So bringing this out, 3. So you see, so this is a quadratic equation already. So from correct equation, we are sure of getting two factors. Factorizing this, you get uh, 2s minus 1, s plus 3. So this implies that the factors are s minus 2, s plus 3, and 2s minus 1. So that's how factor and remainder theory in polynomial goes. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos.